So, uh, we are now getting ready for uh, the last part of the first uh, cycle of data taking of Alice. And uh, so this is particularly exciting at the moment because before going for the long first long shutdown, Alice will have covered the essence of uh, the uh, first overview of the whole physics program. We will have taken data with proton proton, which is our reference and baseline. We will have taken data in 2010 with low statistics and then high, high statistics in 2011 with the nuclei. And this program gets completed now with the Iran with collisions of protons and nuclei. Why collisions of protons and nuclei is pretty, is pretty obvious because whenever we measure effects in uh, level collisions, uh, what we measure in fact uh, is uh, the difference between what we obtain in lead lead and what one would extrapolate for lead lead from proton proton. But uh, when you are at the LHC, what you have is a nucleus that is not the same nucleus at which you are looking at lower energy. You look at a different uh, X region, therefore you have different effects. It's uh, looking at very high energy at the nucleus. It's really looking at a different object than what you are looking at, uh, at lower energy. So, uh, in order to understand the origin of the effects that you are measuring at very high energy, you need not only a reference uh, with proton-proton, but you also need a reference with proton nucleus, where all the effects of the nuclear structure can be then subtracted from your final effect. And that is particularly clear and evident. If you look at the result we have obtained during the short uh, uh, pilot run that we had in September, which was only a few hours, but could already allow to measure, for example, the rate of what is measured uh, in proton nucleus with what is measured in proton proton, and therefore construct uh, this curve as a function of transverse momentum of the number of particles that you have a certain transverse momentum in proton nucleus and in proton proton of this scale. And there you find that you find a curve that goes uh, essentially to one, and therefore that there is no effect. Uh, from uh, cold nuclear matter, and therefore the, the entire suppression of about a factor of five, remember, it's a very, very, very large factor that we observe in uh, lead lead, has to be attributed to the interactions of the partons in the plasma, and therefore it is uh, at that point completely to be attributed to, this, to these effects. This type of measurements we will be doing for a number of, of observables. For example, we will be looking, one of the ones which will be most important will be measurement of quaconium. We, we have observed an extremely interesting behavior of j side production. Now, how much of that is to be attributed to the structure functions in the nucleus at the LAC, and how much by to first the interaction and then to the combination in the system, well, that requires a measurement in, in proton nucleus. This is one of those we will be doing. Yet, what we have started to observe is that there are also very, very interesting um, observables specific to proton nucleus, which seem to promise a very, to open a real new window of, of physics. Uh, in, this, uh, in this energy regime, and uh, in our first paper on correlations with the observation for the first time of a uh, ridge, both in the near and in the away side, uh, is just somehow the beginning of a field of work in trying to understand what uh, are the processes involved in, uh, in, uh, at, the, at the base of this type of observation in, uh, in protonic collisions. And all that will require high statistics, so we are really looking forward to the full run, which starts in January, and that somehow closes our first cycle. But then we will repeat at higher energy, twice the, uh, the energy, just after the, the stop. So this we have a long shutdown one. After the long shutdown, we will be operating at twice the energy. 
again for a cycle of lead lead and proton lead collisions and proton proton collisions and at that uh, at that not with the current uh, at this detector but with the detector which will be uh, more performant because we will have installed uh, the, the decal which will give us uh, this back to back uh, uh, jet, gamma jet and jet jet capability and we, we will have completed the transmission radiation detector which already now is triggering and it will be then much more effectively triggering having the full, the full uh, uh, azimuth uh, coverage. In the meantime we will of course be preparing for the next launch and down where we will be installing uh, the, the new uh, Alice uh, for the one which has been approved uh, uh, recently for, for the upgrade. So it's a very, very interesting progression that we, that we will see. And also, in some sense, for, also for analysis, uh, it is uh, quite timely now to have a, a break in the data taking because there are more complex analyses that require longer lead time and require not to be under the continuous pressure of always new data, new data, new data, but to be allow the people to think carefully and develop longer uh, analysis that will tackle more complex problems. We have done so far somehow the first generation of analysis of lead lead data at the, at the LHC. There are more complex observables that we will be attacking having the time of the of the long shutdown.